everybody and welcome back to Linda Tina TV. If it's not your first time here, if it is your first time, please do take a second and just click on that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you are notified each time I upload a new video. Now, I'm pretty excited to be filming this video. I don't know if you can tell. One, because I'm going to be talking about my favorite season of the year. I love Christmas. I remember when we were younger, Christmas was the time where our mom bought us new clothes, new shoes, maybe a new bag. And so we looked forward to this season all through the year, just so that we could have those new clothes. We used to go to church in these new clothes and it's just sort of like showing off, look, I got some new clothes. And so I really love this season, not only about that, but also because I feel like it's the season of love where we express love in the family. Usually you spend it with the closest people in your life. So I, I love Christmas, the lights, the music, everything. In November already, I start playing Christmas carols. Don't judge me. My tree is not yet up, but by the time you watch this video, it will probably be already up because we'll be in December. So anyway, the other reason why I'm excited about filming this video is, go, is because I'm going to be going into dreamland, you know, wishful thinking. I'm going to be telling you the things I'm wishing for this Christmas, my Christmas wish list. But to be honest, for me, it's more of a 2021 manifestation. So many of the things that I'm going to mention are not things I think I'll be getting in the next three weeks because Christmas is in about three weeks as I film this video. So I don't think the things I'll be getting then, but they are things that I am manifesting into 2021. So let's get right into this video. I will start with the non-tangible things, which are usually the most important things. And the first on my list is a breakthrough in this pandemic. As you already know, the world is going through these crazy times that have affected our lives financially, emotionally, in so many different ways. So my wish this Christmas is that we can have a Christmas where there is hope for the pandemic to just go away. I live in Italy, so as you can imagine, we got like the you know the biggest terror when it comes to what has been going on and it's been bad it's been really bad we can't catch a break you know we are going in and out of lockdown businesses are closing people have lost jobs so my wish is that something good happens really soon also because in italy we are not yet sure if for christmas we're going to be able to meet with family members because of course they are advising us to stay with our immediate family so not meeting any other people and it's hard because christmas is the season to be with friends and family this wish makes me a little bit emotional but i really wish i could see my family not my nuclear family my family family my mom my brothers my sisters um, my family lives all over the world, but every year or every two years we try to get together back home in Uganda and we have a massive, fantastic reunion. Obviously, because of the <laughs> times we are living, we have not been able to do that this year and we had planned something really great and big this year. And so my wish would be to be able to see them and hug them and hold them and just share in this in these beautiful moments that we always do so yeah um it will be really hard <laughs> to have that wish granted by christmas but like i mentioned i'm manifesting into the new year so come 2021 i am really wishing that i can get together with my family next on my christmas wish list is a peace of mind i'll explain in the past months like since the year started honestly I have had my emotions and feelings all over the place, but literally all over the place. You know, when you feel like you're anxious about things, sometimes things you don't even know, or when you feel like you're not really, you know, calm in your feelings mentally. I don't know if you understand what I mean. So my wish for this Christmas and for the next year 
is that I have that calmness in me where I'm not anxious about things, where I'm not worried about things, where I feel uncertain about what's coming. And even if I'm uncertain about what's coming, that I am calm about it. So basically, I am wishing for a peace of mind, like serenity. This one may be on many of your wish lists, but what I wish for next is travel, but not just travel. So I am wishing for a solo trip. I have never traveled on my own. I have girlfriends who have traveled on their own and they tell me it's fantastic. It's a time to know who you are without the influence of someone else that you're traveling with. So you have to make plans with this person, but you just go out and do what your heart feels like. So on my wish list, this Christmas is a solo trip. So when I wish for that, I am wishing that my husband will be able to take care of the kids in the time I won't be around. And I'm also wishing to have the financial ability to do that. But I'm wishing for a solo trip somewhere I've not been before where I can just go and explore things on my terms, on my own. This one is very close to the one I just mentioned. So next on my wish list is a day alone in a place that's really, really, really serene and quiet and calm where I can just be in my thoughts, you know, wellness for me. And I'm talking about like a spa or a wellness center where I can just be on my own because to be honest, every now and then, I feel like I need time alone to just get my thoughts together, get myself together and refresh. It's like starting a new page. So on my wish list, I have that as part there are these really, really big spas with different wellness rooms that you can do different things on your own and just be in that calmness, you know, to connect with your soul and spirit. I don't know if someone gets what I mean, but yeah. The last one on my non-tangible things is Subscribers, I need to get more subscribers, but my goal actually is 4,000. So I'm at about 3,600 subscribers as I make this video. And my Christmas wish list is to get to 4,000 subscribers. And you guys who are watching can actually help me get that wish come true. So I'm aiming at 4,000 subscribers by the beginning of next year and maybe even more. Are you going to help me get those subscribers? If you haven't subscribed, please do click on that red button. Okay, now let's get to those things that are tangible. Number one, a car. But I'll tell you what's funny about this wish. Um, I don't really need a car. Where I live and the nature of my lifestyle, the kind of life I lead right now, I don't need a car. We don't need two cars in the family. Even the one car that we have is always parked because we walk everywhere, public transport where we live is quite easy and actually better. It's the easiest way to move around if you're not getting out of the city. So I live in the center of Milan. I don't need a car, but there's this car I've been eyeing since the year started and that's the Jeep Renegade. Guys, I love this car and the more that I fall in love with it, the more that I see it around me and every time it passes across, I'm like, damn, I want that car. So on my wish list, there's that car. I don't know if I really need it or it's going to just stay a wish, but maybe I could get it, drive it, get the feel of driving it, and then maybe get rid of it after I realize that also in this city, finding parking is a pain. It's almost impossible when you live in the center of the city to find parking. So you're better off not driving, but... I'm eyeing this car and it's on my wish list and I'm manifesting it. Next is a perfume, not just any perfume. This perfume is something, I'm telling you, it's something. So it's a Tom Ford perfume that my friend showed me, Tom Ford Vanilla. Um, it costs quite a bit, but it's, it's out of this world. Now, if you know me, you know that I love perfumes. I collect perfumes. I have like so many perfumes. I love to wear them at different, on different occasions. I wear different perfumes. I am always looking into perfume stores to see what's new, but even the old ones. So I'm just crazy about perfumes. But this particular one that my friend showed me, we were in the mall and she told me, Linda, you love perfumes? You're going to fall in love with this perfume. I tried it on, that Tom Ford vanilla perfume, and I was like, 
oh my god it was heaven until the next day it was still on my skin and then it smelled different the longer it stayed on my skin mm, i'm eyeing that perfume i'm most likely going to get it by christmas don't ask me how <laughs> Next on my wish list is this camera. So I've been thinking of upgrading my um, YouTube gadgets and the camera is the first thing, obviously. It is a Lumix Panasonic camera that I have tried and tested and think it's just what I want, what I need, guys. So if anyone wants to gift me something, you know what it is. It's about 500 euros right now. I'm not sure what's the current price, but yeah, it's about 500 euros. Guys, I am daydreaming about this camera. Next is a watch. Now, if you know me for a while, you know that I'm always wearing this watch. This is a Michael Kors watch that I got as a birthday gift. Maybe it was on my 20th birthday. And I have it on all the time, like it's all I ever have on. And I think it's because one, I'm very sentimental about things, but also it came at a time where I really, really wanted it. Like it was on my wish list at that time. And so when I got it, I never put it off. But this Christmas, I would like to get a new watch to one, change things up, but also because I feel like I don't have a variety of watches, to be honest. I'm not so crazy about watches. For me, it's really to tell time, but it helps that it looks good on my, on my wrist. I'm eyeing the Daniel Wellington watches. They're quite cute, also because they go between casual and quite formal, so they're watches you can wear every day. And yeah, that's all my wish list. Last one is a tattoo, which is funny because I was one of those people growing up that was against tattoos. But um, this is a tattoo that I have been thinking of getting from the beginning of this year. And I wasn't able to because of the pandemic and then we went into the summer, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, now I want to get it before the year ends, but it's not high up in my priorities um, among the things that I want to spend money on. So on my wish list, I have this. If someone fans that perf the tattoo for me, I am most definitely gonna have it. I may share with you guys <laughs> my first tattoo, or I may not. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, it's on my wish list. Um, guys, that brings me to the end of this video. I enjoyed filming it. I'm a dreamer, so when I get into dreamland, it makes me feel a certain type of way. What is on your wish list? It may be something small, big, it may be something tangible, not tangible. Is your wish just money? Can someone just throw me $10,000, $100,000? I don't know. Share with me what your wishes are. And if they're not going to be able to be granted by Christmas, let's manifest into the new year. I am big on manifesting, so I believe that when you put um, you, the things you want out into the universe, the universe listens and it grants you these things when the time is right. Thank you so much if you've stuck till the end of the video. Do remember to subscribe and see you in my next one. Bye-bye.